when BTS released Dynamite, they just really wanted to do something for armies all over the world stuck in their homes. They accidentally hit Billboard Hot 100 number one. But perhaps more importantly for their country at that time, they created 7,928 jobs. Yeah, while companies all over the world were laying off workers, shutting down, declaring bankruptcies, BTS created 7,928 jobs through just one song. Yeah, they overshot a little. These little rascals are always overachieving, but I don't think those thousands of people who were otherwise displaced by COVID-19 were complaining. South Korea, their country, also appreciated the 1.7 trillion won, or $1.26 billion economic effect that Dynamite, one song, brought Korea. For context, Korean artist Sai brought an economic value of 1 trillion won with his one song Gangnam Style, and there was no pandemic during that time. All these figures and numbers came from a joint report of South Korea's Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, and Korea Culture and Tourism Institute back in 2020. Because of the success of Dynamite, Big Hit and BTS created jobs for people so they can produce their content create and manufacture their CDs and merch, market, distribute, and sell their products related to Dynamite. They also created jobs for people and other businesses or organizations that had to hire people to support the demand for Dynamite, including distribution companies, manufacturing companies, and others. As for the money they earned, it came from streaming, sale of CDs and merch, sale of merchandise and consumer goods that started selling because they were connected to BTS. There's also Korean-related products and services that started garnering interest because of the interest Dynamite generated. This, however, excludes possible tourism-related businesses and income that Korea may have generated and enjoyed because of the influence of Dynamite. Even after COVID restrictions were lifted and tourists were directly linked to Dynamite and BTS, they still did not add it to their estimate. Hi! So finally, part two of BTS Bigger Than K-Pop. I might do a part three, but that won't be until probably next month or month after next. Okay, if you do end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, of course. Subscribe and hit that notification button and share the video if you can. On to the video. Now, before haters start yapping that Dynamite is actually a very much Western-influenced song, Idol, a song highly influenced by Korean traditional sound and aesthetics, also breathed new life to the National Gugak Center a government-supported nonprofit organization dedicated at preserving and promoting traditional Korean music, had to expand their digital music service as both local and international labels and artists started to request for files and actual physical instruments. They said that the huge increase in interest was most notable after BTS performed Idol live at the Melon Music Awards in 2018, where BTS fused traditional Korean sounds with the song attracting both local and global audiences. If you think that was impressive, you may want to sit down for this one. According to the report by a research team led by Pyun Ju Yoon, a business professor at Seoul Korea University, the number one university in Korea, BTS generated 481.3 billion won or 357,510,275.32 US dollars in direct and indirect economic effect with its fifth muster or magic shop performances held in Busan on June 15 and 16 and in Seoul June 22 to 23 of 2019. To be exact, that is 135.5 billion won or 100 million from the concerts in Busan and 345.8 billion won or 256.8 million US dollars from concerts in Seoul. 
for Busan and Seoul, this is equal to 1.6 and 0.9% of their GDP for 2018. October of the same year, BTS's three-day finale at the Olympic Stadium in Seoul for the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself tour generated an economic effect of 1 trillion won or 860.7 million US dollars. That's a three-day concert and they generated 860.7 million US dollars. So the question is, how are this economic impact calculated? The money that people spend so that they can go to Korea is one of the easiest to get because visitors are actually asked why they are traveling to Korea when they buy their tickets, book their hotels, or even during immigration screening. According to their research, there were 187,000 foreigners who traveled to South Korea for the concerts. This figure accounted to about 67% of the 280,000 tourists who actually visited South Korea during the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. There's also accommodations and food. They get reports from hotels and inns and restaurants. Businesses like this already know how much an event like this would affect their business. Convenience stores, retail stores, all of those businesses benefit from a huge crowd. It is important to note that they didn't even consider other travels and expenses a foreign visitor will make once they are already in Korea. For example, someone who attends a BTS concert in Seoul may decide to go to Busan or Jeju. All these things that they will be spending on ticket, accommodations, retail, shopping, aren't factored in. Whenever BTS goes to another country for a concert, they also affect the economy of that city or state. For example, BTS's Wembley concert had an economic impact on London in 2019 and it was roughly estimated to be 100 billion won or 84 million dollars. The economic impact of BTS's concert series in SoFi Stadium, it was estimated to be 100 million US dollars. BTS is also affecting consumer goods. On December 2018, Hyundai Research Institute revealed that BTS is responsible for contributing $1.1 billion or 1.7% to the total Korean consumer goods export. For one act to contribute 1.7% of a country's consumer goods export, that is a big deal. To put it in context, and for you to understand why it's a big deal, it would help to understand the Korean consumer goods industry. Consumer goods are electronics, leather and related products, apparel, beverages, food, media products, electrical equipment, furniture, and tobacco. That's nine products. But how many consumer goods companies are there in Korea? I don't have the exact number, but I can give you an idea on how massive it is. Remember that electronics is only one of the nine categories under consumer goods. According to Crunchbase and Statista, Korea has 926 electronics companies. That's just one product. And BTS contributed 1% in the total income of the whole consumer goods industry. Again, this impact only measures products BTS or its company and official partners sell. This includes cosmetics, food, and clothing. This does not include brands they influence. For example, Jungkook selling out Downey or a bottle of wine is not included in the computation. According to a report in 2019, BTS has an annual effect on the following consumer goods per year. Clothing, 2.026 billion. Cosmetics, 2.8 billion. And food, 3.96 billion. In the car industry, BTS was the global ambassador for Hyundai Motors SUV Palisade. According to SM2 Networks, Hyundai netted 600 billion won or 504 million dollars as a result of BTS's promotion and collaboration with the company. 
Hallyu Wave or Cultural Expansion. According to the Korea Foundation, a government-affiliated and supported non-profit organization with offices all over the world to help expand the popularity of Korean culture, BTS actually led a 22% increase of Korean Hallyu fans worldwide in 2018. Korea Foundation's annual tracking of Hallyu fans showed that between 2012 and 2013, during the peak of Gangnam Style, Hallyu fans decreased. Between 2013 and 2014, Hallyu fans more than doubled. Remember that by 2014, when BTS participated in KCON, Bang Shiyuk was shocked to realize that BTS already amassed a massive U.S. following. That was his first indication of possible success and why he decided to pursue the U.S. market. This could explain the drastic increase of Hallyu fans. The Hallyu White Paper 2018 report stated that K-pop exports in North Korea nearly doubled, 94% increase to be exact, indicating that the success of BTS accelerated the growth in North American market. Sales also showed growth in Europe, 25.5%, Southeast Asia, 37.8%, and other regions in South America, 18%. The COFIS Global Hallyu Trends 2020 report said that in the U.S., positive responses to Hallyu increased between 2016 and 2018 due to BTS's success in the U.S. market. The massive global influence of BTS in Korean culture, in fact, was studied by the World Economic Forum, an international forum for powerful business leaders, international political leaders, and top economists. They acknowledged that BTS's global success is going against the cultural odds because one, American culture is the main quote-unquote, global culture around the world, making English the global language. And number two, Korean is not even in the top 10 of the world's most spoken languages. So they actually wanted to drill down how BTS built their influence so that other countries can replicate it. And there's tourism. Hyundai Research Institute reported that 796,000 foreigners visit South Korea annually at that time because of BTS. That is one in every 13 foreign visits. A survey conducted by the Korean Tourism Organization on the most popular spots in Korea showed that the top five locations selected were BTS-related places. All told, the Hyundai Research Institute stated that BTS generates an estimated amount of 4 trillion won or 3.54 billion as economic value to their country per year and 1.42 trillion won or 1.26 billion US dollars as added value per year. This is equivalent to the contribution of 26 mid-sized companies. The Seoul Metropolitan Government gave credit to BTS in helping recover the Seoul's tourism industry, which was negatively affected by the THAAD ban. The Thermal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, is a combat-proven defense against short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missile threats. It was designed by the U.S. so that they could intercept targets outside and inside the atmosphere. When South Korea implemented THAAD, China banned almost all cultural exchange with South Korea, including Korean entertainment. As China was and still is the number one provider of tourists for South Korea, tourism was the industry that experienced the largest setback during the THAAD controversy. Chinese travel companies suddenly stop selling package tours to South Korea, but there are other factors like concerns for safety and political tensions. All of those things contributed to the decreased tourism. Overall, the number of tourists fell by 3.29 million in the first nine months of 2017 as compared to 2016 leading to a total $6.8 billion loss for the tourism industry. 
BTS helped in easing the tension and re-invited many Chinese to come back and travel to Korea. This famed 2018 report was actually updated in 2019. The new report indicated that the overall economic effect of BTS is 5.56 trillion won per year to South Korea, which is around $4.9 billion. For context, Korean actor Bae Yong Joon brought an economic value of around 3 trillion won or 2.72 billion dollars with the drama Winter Sonata. Hyundai Research Institute predicted that BTS's 10-year economic impact will reach 56.2 trillion won or 49.8 billion US dollars. This number will easily surpass the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics 2018. It reached 41.6 trillion won. Okay, there's another one. It's called the BOP or the balance of payment. BOP is the total economic transaction between two countries. And in this case, it's China and Korea. So remember, they were coming from THAAD. The relationship was severely damaged. Now, 2019 first quarter, they recorded a BOP of 114.7 million. And this was the highest BOP that they've ever had since third quarter of 2016. And both Korea and China credited this to two things. First is the global success of BTS. Remember, it's these two countries that are actually saying it. And that actually served as the catalyst for the two countries to talk again, which became the second reason for having such a high BOP. That is the improved relationship between South Korea and China. And it's nothing short of astounding to actually think that one group, one boy band can actually serve as a catalyst for two countries to start doing business again. So I hope they continue doing that again once they, uh, well, I hope that all K-pop groups start pushing, not pushing, but inspiring uh, two countries to start to, to improve further, further their business relationship. And I truly hope that once BTS, the entire BTS uh, brand actually concludes their military uh, enlistment or service, then they'll be able to help in reigniting or improving the relationship between China and South Korea. Okay, I hope you, you enjoy that. I am, I might do a part three. I'm trying to generate as many numbers as I, as I can. The problem is that a lot of the things that I thought I kept, I didn't. So I am finding myself that I have to go back and search for it again, call people, see if I can recover those numbers. But a lot of the things that I used in this video will be available in my Patreon. So please su subscribe on Patreon. Follow me there. There's a paid tier and then a free tier. Um, and then follow me on, on X or Twitter and of course on Instagram. There's so much mess going around right now that I haven't been able to truly share a lot of things to my paid subscribers. I'm so sorry, but I will do that very, very soon. Um, for next, for Saturday, I'm going to publish the summary and explanation on what's happening between Min Hee Jin and Hive. So, okay, if you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, if you have any other additional information, let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. And also, please subscribe and hit that notification button and um, share the video if you can. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.